Hello and welcome or welcome back to Whitney Alex Works recap of The Bachelor season 28. This time I'm recapping episode 6 of Joey Grazade's journey as The Bachelor. Let's get started. A new week begins with the 10 remaining women heading to Montreal, Canada to continue to fall in love with Joey. But when we meet up with Joey, he admits in his confessional that he is struggling this week as he is feeling overwhelmed with trying to be perfect and in a good mood all the time. But then we see host Jesse Palmer, who is finally 45. He greets the women and speaks to them in French, telling them that there is going to be one big group date and two single dates. The group date of the week has eight women invited on it, with both Maria and Kelsey getting the single dates of the week. Joey and the eight women head around Montreal learning French as best as they can and end up assembling poutine where Joey makes a connection with Jen who feeds him chocolate covered poutine. But as Jen is standing out, many women are struggling on this group date as once again we are reminded that Joey has made connections with a lot of women. But as Joey is getting worn out, probably because he is taking on a lot of emotional stress, Jess is also struggling as despite being Joey's first kiss on night one, she feels overlooked and it's taking its toll on her. We then head to the nighttime portion of the group date where many of the women are still feeling sad about seeing Joey with other women and Joey ends up connecting with Caitlin who hasn't had a single date yet. Also, Joey furthers his connection with Kelsey A who just came off a one-on-one -on -one date and she tells him tearfully that she is falling for him. Joey's happy to hear this and they share a kiss. Joey also talks to Lexi who questions him on his timeline for starting a family. Joey tells her that he wants to be engaged for about two to three years and kids will come much later on. But this revelation only makes Lexi question if Joey is the right one for her. We also see Joey and Jen connect even further as she tells Joey that she is falling for him. But when it's Jess's time to speak to Joey, Joey finally admits he cannot be open to everyone as he tells tells Jess that he can't see it with her, and shockingly, he has decided that it's over between them. He walks Jess out, meaning that now nine women remain. Joey comes back and lets the women know that he sent Jess home and then gives the group date rose to Jen, securing her another week. We then switch to the first one-on-one -on -one date of the week and that goes to Kelsey T, an actor from California. She admits she is nervous as she meets up with Joey and they learn Cirque du Soleil skills that end up making Joey dizzy. But then they share kisses and connect as Joey is excited he is spending more time with Kelsey T. We then suddenly switch to Lexi's perspective as she is concerned about her relationship with Joey. It's never a good sign when we're in the middle of a date and the story suddenly switches to a contestant having doubts. With Lexi struggling, we switch back to the nighttime portion of Kelsey T's one-on-one -on -one date. Her and Joey sit down to talk as everyone is pretty aware that hometowns are around the corner. Kelsey opens up about her relationship with her father, who apparently is really religious, and stopped speaking to Kelsey because she decided to go to college and not join her father's faith. There's a lot to unpack in that statement, but Kelsey cites her strained relationship with her father as the reason she has trust issues. But Joey is really fond of Kelsey as he believes they have a connection worth exploring. So Joey ends up giving Kelsey tea the rose, securing her another week. The last date of the week is a one-on-one -on -one date with Joey and Maria. Maria gets a special princess date where she dresses up and ends up in a pretty golden green shimmering gown where Joey is completely enamored with Maria. Maria attempts to teach Joey some French Canadian where she tricks him into saying that he loves her. But soon they head to Joey's second helicopter date of the season where they share romantic moments as they view Montreal from above. Joey and Maria then head to the nighttime portion of the single date where they reflect on their time together. Maria admits that she felt special on their date and tells him that she is falling for him. Joey leads her to dance to Feist where he offers Maria the rose securing her another week. 
But with the dates over, it's time to deal with Lexi and her concerns about her relationship with Joey. She heads over to see him and knocks at his door. When they greet and sit down to talk, Lexi opens up about her struggles of infertility and realizing that her health concerns might be more important than waiting around for a partner to meet her halfway with having kids right away. Joey is sad but understands Lexi's reasons and with Lexi leaving the show, now eight women remain. With Lexi gone, we see Joey processing her exit and when he arrives at the cocktail party, he tells the women that he is fearful that his love will not be reciprocated in the end. But as the remaining women do their best to make an impression before the next rose ceremony, it's inevitably time for the next rose ceremony. As a reminder, Jen, Kelsey T, and Maria are safe. Joey begins the ceremony by first calling Daisy, then Kelsey A., And the last rose goes to Rachel, which means Caitlin and Leia are heading home. Six women remain. And that's it for week six of Joey Grazade's season of The Bachelor. Thank you for watching Whitney Alex Works recap of Bachelor Nation content. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe here for more videos in the future. See you soon for the next episode.